Welcome back, Grams. It's me, Justin Rios, here to give you the deets on everything entertainment. Let's get started. I'm pretty sad Halloween is over. It's literally the second best holiday ever. Now, 50 days till Christmas, Fort Collins is bringing in that holiday cheer. Deck the house with lights of Christmas. The Foco community flipped the switch at the downtown holiday lighting ceremony last Friday. Thousands of low-energy, sustainable LED lights illuminated the, the sidewalks, treetops, and lampposts of Old Town Fort Collins. Hundreds of people crowded Old Town in awe of the holiday lights. So much so that it created more traffic. Yay! The lights are remaining lit through Valentine's Day. I'm not a very funny person, only funny looking. And stage fright is, well, frightening. But if you're around with a knack for comedy, our very own radio station at KCSU is giving you the opportunity to flex your funny bone. The KCSU Comedy Open Mic Session opens to everyone at the Ramscaler next Tuesday, November 13th. Sign up is happening now via message on For Comedy's Facebook page. I personally can't wait to see CSU students crack the same old FOCO jokes about beer, hiking, and pizza. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to, town, to Old Town Square and checking his list twice to see who's naughty and nice. Children of all ages are required uh, or are invited to share their holiday wishes with Santa at his workshop downtown on Saturday, November 17th at 12 in the afternoon. Taking pics with Santa Claus is free, and so is sparing your child the trauma of telling them that Santa is not real. Oh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Santa's de Santa departs from Fort Collins on Christmas Eve. Uh, Wong Fu Productions is an Asian American filmmaking group that's amassed more than 3 million subscribers on YouTube. Producing music videos and short films since 2006 with their witty satirical comedy, Wong Fu Productions traveled to CSU this past Thursday with a free screening of their comedy show about the modern Asian American experience with Yabi. The Asian Pacific American Cultural Center and Wong Fu Productions joined forces to present Yabi. Wait, what you call me? What's that about Yappy? Andrew, played by Philip Wong, is a young Asian professional, aka Yappy, blissfully living his life as a software engineer. I'm here, I was able to experience this. I've been following them for such a long time since like when they first came out with like the Yellow Fever video, my parents showed me and I was like, I don't know, like nine or 10 or something. It was so funny to me and I was just a 10 year old. Tragedy strikes when his girlfriend calls it quits after being a just saved Asian man. Love to pick up the pieces and re-examine his life. Having like a big organization where I can like meet other Asian Americans like at a different university, like even in my state, is really cool because it's just people I've never met that I can relate to. Conveying the modern Asian American experience and tackling the model minority myth. With its five episode first season, Yappy is funded through Patreon supporters and for YouTube clicks, and is in talks of a partnership with a studio to bring Asian American representation to the silver screen. If you are interested in continuing Yappy, you can catch up on new episodes and all of, the Wong Fu's, uh, all of Wong Fu's comedy sketches and storytelling on Wong Fu Productions' YouTube page and social media. Well, that's all. Illegal Pete's in, in Old Town is giving free drinks tonight if you bring your I Voted stickers, so I'm heading out. Tune in tomorrow for CTV Cooks, same time, same channel. But before we go, Edgar Cedillo and Sunday Miller have breaking news about the midterm election.